What's up everybody? My name is Scott Paddock and today we are going to talk about turns. In my YouTube comments, I've been asked several times to do a video explaining exactly how I do turns. So today, that is going to be the video. We're going to talk about turns. We're going to do a full turn, a three quarters turn, and a half turn. Before we dive into the video, I'd like to thank Legere for sponsoring my videos for the month of December. If you've been watching my channel, uh, I've been telling you with each video uh, what I really like about Legere Reads. Today, I'm going to give you a really great tip about ordering your first Legere. Uh, and I fell into this problem, so it's a really important thing to hear. So when you order your first Legere, know that you are going to have to go down a size or two. They are, they are made stronger than cane reeds. So if you're playing on a size 3 cane reed, I would suggest starting on around a, a size 2.5. Now the Legere signatures come in quarter sizes. So I started at a 3. That was way too hard. I went to a 2.75. Uh, felt better-ish. Then I hit a 2.5 and it felt good. And I played that for a good three to four months. And then I tried out a 2.25 and that was perfect for me. Like the, my middle notes were really fat and full. My altissimo was still really, really strong and clean. So you might have to play around with the size a little bit. If you're a beginner to intermediate, I would say start around a two or a 2.25. If you're intermediate or advanced, I would say 2.5 or 2.25 to 2.5 and then kind of go from there. So getting that sizing correct is really, really important. Just like with any read, if you have the wrong size on, it's not gonna feel really good. Legere does have a read comparison chart at their website, so I'd recommend checking that out. Uh, but just know that you're gonna have to go down uh, at least a quarter size, maybe a half a size, until you find that sweet spot. Okay, so let's dive back into the video. Turns, we are gonna do a turn on an A, and it's gonna sound like this. I call them full turns, three quarter turns, and uh, half turns. And as I explain them to you, you'll understand why I do that. So the first thing we're gonna do is do a full turn. And we're gonna do it on an A. I'm choosing this note because it's really easy on the fingers. Some fingerings are more difficult or some fingers are easier when it comes to turns. This one is really easy, so that's where we're gonna start. So when we do a turn, uh, the note that you start on and that you end on is what I call the target note. So we're gonna play that target note three times. Basically, it's in between every note. So we're going to play that A three times. Now, between the first and second one, we're going to do the neighbor tone above. So the neighbor tone above just means the next note in the scale up. So we are in the key of A. The neighbor tone above is a B. So we're going to play A, neighbor tone above, B, back down to A. So that's part of your turn. Now, we play A, B, A. Then the next part of the turn is the neighbor tone below. So we're going to be in the key of A, and the neighbor tone below would be a G sharp. So we're going to play A, neighbor tone above, which is B, back to A, neighbor tone below, which is G sharp, and back to A. So again, we have those three A's, and then we have the B above and the G sharp below. A, B, A, G sharp, A. Now, when, we come, when it comes to a turn, they're usually pretty quick. They're embellishments. They're something you're going to put on the front of a note or at the, in the middle of a note. It's not something that you're going to take a lot of time. It's like they're not long enough that you would write out the actual notes. So your tempo on a turn is going to be more like this. In slow motion. Now, if you listen on this one, I'm using the G sharp to, to lean into the A a little bit. But with turns, there are so you have so many different options of things that you can do. So I can go right into that A without setting it up. I can lean on the G sharp a little bit to make the A sound more important. Now the general rule with turns, especially if you're playing classical, uh, this is the rule, is you stay in the key signature of the song that you're in. So if you are playing a song in the key of A, we would play A, B, A, G sharp, A. But in the jazz world, you can break those rules all over the place because we use things called uh, uh, approach notes all the time. Approach note is just a half step above or a half step below the note that you're going to play. So you can use that in your turns also. So if we're going to do that turn 
and on a B, but still in the key of A, we would play B, C sharp, B, A, B. But if we wanted to turn that A into an A sharp, so you're using an approach note below, it's gonna actually sound better in this case. So you can approach that bottom note with a half step. That's the rule I tell my students is, play the note above in the key that you're in and play the note below a half step. That's gonna be a really good general rule to follow. It's not 100%, but that is a definitely a strong rule to follow. The best thing you can do is play it a couple different ways, see which one you like the best, and then that's the way to play it. Now, you also can do the top note as a half step. So if I started on a B, uh, I could go up to a C natural and then down to a B flat. Even though I'm in the key of A, those notes are going by so fast and the way they're being played, they're being played as setup notes or approach notes to the Bs that it doesn't really matter if you're in the key signature of A. But in the beginning, I always say do uh, the scale degree up and a half step below. So that is your full turn. So it is five notes. We're gonna go to the half turn next. The half turn is only three notes and a land note. So we're just gonna do the first part. So if we were in the key, uh, if we're doing it on an A again, we would just do the A, B, A part. And then our land note is gonna be the G sharp. So this turn should be used if the next note in the song is the neighbor tone below. So in other words, you're gonna land on that note. So if this song was A, G sharp, we would play A, B, A, land on the G sharp. It would sound like this. So because the next note below is that G sharp, we're not gonna go back up to an A and then back down to a G sharp. We're just gonna uh, do, a, do a half a turn and land on the G sharp. So the full turn, the half a turn, we're gonna land on the, on the note below, the neighbor tone below. So we have our full turn which lands back on the root. Then we have our half turn, which lands on the next note down. Then we have our three quarters turn, which lands a third down. So the three quarter turn is the turn that you're gonna use if the next note is going to be a third down. So if we're in the key of A, a third down would be F sharp. So if we're going to third down, we do the turn, the first four notes the same, but the fifth note, instead of going back up to an A, we go down to an F sharp so that we're landing on that note correctly. So we would do this. The full turn goes back up to the A, but we wouldn't do, do this. Because that just kind of sounds a little awkward. It doesn't flow right into the note. And that's what these embellishments do. They're like to make the line sound more flowy. So we would land right on that F sharp. So it would be A, neighbor tone above, A, neighbor tone below, land on the third below, which is the F sharp. So we have our full turn, our three quarters turn, and our half turn. So now that we know how to do all these turns, where do we use them? All over the place. Turns are beautiful. You can use them all over the place. So I'm gonna start off playing Fly Me to the Moon, and Fly Me to the Moon goes A, G sharp, F sharp. So because I'm going from A to G sharp, I would use the half turn there. I'd go A, B, A, G sharp. Then in the next phrase, when I hit this E, I'm gonna use the three quarters turn. Take a listen to it. So I'm using the three quarters turn there because I'm going down a, a minor third. Now this time I'm gonna do a full turn, so I'm gonna do it on the long note. I'm gonna do it on the C sharp. So I'm going C sharp, D, C sharp, B, C sharp. 
So we're going to put all three of those turns in there, and you're going to hear the half, the three quarters, and the full turn. And that is how you play your turn. Now, when it comes to choosing your neighbor tone above and below, do those rules. Start off with those rules. Uh, the scale degree above and a half step below. But feel free to play around with it. Maybe it's going to be a half step above. Maybe it'll be a, a whole step below. Play around with it and see what sounds good to you and what works for you. There are no real hard concrete rules when it comes to playing a turn in jazz. So feel free to play around with it and see what works best for you. I'd like to throw another shout out to Legere Reads for sponsoring my videos for the month of December. Thank you very much for your support. And if you haven't tried a Legere Signature Read yet, I strongly suggest it. Thanks for taking the time to check out my video. I hope that you now understand how to play a turn. And if you do, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and share it with your friends. Thanks a lot.